Hey guys, what's up? It's DJ's Aviation. Welcome to a brand new model unboxing. Today, sitting in front of us is the Air New Zealand Boeing 777-300ER, registration ZKOKQ in the 1400 scale. This was made by Phoenix and is painted in the revised All Blacks livery. I'll just read some information about Air New Zealand now. Air New Zealand is the national airline of New Zealand, based in Auckland. The airline operates scheduled passenger flights to 22 domestic and 29 international destinations in 16 countries around the Pacific Rim and the United Kingdom. The airline has been a member of the Star Alliance since 1999. They commenced operations on the 1st of April 1965. Their hubs are Auckland Airport, Wellington International Airport, Christchurch International Airport, their focus cities Los Angeles International Airport and Sydney Airport. Their airport lounge is called the Air New Zealand Lounge. Their fleet size is 104, including Air New Zealand Link. Their destinations are 51, including Air New Zealand Link. They are 53% owned by the New Zealand government. Their call sign is New Zealand. Their IATA is NZ and their ICAO is ANZ. We're just going to now talk about the current livery on Air New Zealand planes. This is excluding the All Blacks. Uh, so the black and white fern mark is on the rear of the fuselage. The livery is used on most of the fleet. A select number have an All Black livery, which is one on each aircraft type. So the A320, 7879, and the 777. And also their, one of their regional planes has it. However, the 767s do not have an All Blacks livery on it as they are being retired very shortly. So the Black Fern is on the airline's first Boeing 7879. Extensive consumer surveys by Air New Zealand revealed 78% of people believe the Fern mark fits with the airline's brand and represents New Zealand. The first aircraft to be painted in this livery was rolled out on the 24th of September 2013. So the box is a pretty much standard Phoenix box. Up the top we have the Boeing 777-300ER. We have the computer generated image in the middle. Then we have the Air New Zealand logo, the All Blacks logo, registration ZKOKQ, and 1400 scale Platinum series. Here we have Phoenix logo, computer generated image, Boeing 777-300ER. Moving it to the side again. We have Air New Zealand, All Blacks logo, Phoenix logo, registration ZKOKQ. More of the same, except we just have the warning contains small parts not suitable for children under 14 years. Phoenix. And here we've got the Heart of Aviation, true to scale collectible, super detailed graphics, realistic uh, featured antennas, rollable wheels with metal landing gears. Now on the back, we've got limited edition, the All Blacks with the fern, registration ZKOKQ. We have the officially licensed product by Boeing, and then product under license from the Boeing management company, 777, and Boeing are among the trademarks owned by Boeing. In my opinion, the Phoenix packaging, the way they package their models, and the way the box looks is my favourite. I much prefer it over the Gemini Jets look inside tab. I'm not really a fan of that. So we'll get on to unboxing the model. It's, there's a little flap you just slot your finger underneath. Maybe this side might be a bit easier. Like that. Pretty simple. There we go. Then the model should just slide out like that. Put the box there, and there is the model. So going from left to right on the plane as we usually do, to the left we have the cockpit windows, then moving to the right, not sure if you're able to see, there's a little star for the Star Alliance. This is the Alliance Air New Zealand are a part of. To the right again we have the first entry door. Above that, to the right, we have Air New Zealand. In paint, uh, painted in white, which looks really nice. Underneath that, we have all the windows. 
Then to the right we have another entry door, entry slash exit door. We have the engine, which I believe is the GE90s. We have the wing, the curved wing on the 777, it's a bit like the Dreamliner. Obviously not as curved, but it's, it's really nice. More passenger windows. Then we have the over wing exit. More windows. Another door. And more windows. Then it's the start of the fern that I was talking about earlier in my review. So it's usually a silver fern, and it used to be a silver fern. However, in the new revised all black livery, it's just completely white. Uh, looks really nice. It's very elegant. I like this more than the old Air New Zealand livery, but everyone has their preferences. I still like the Pacific Rim or Pacific Wave, as we, they like to call it. And we have the Air New Zealand logo to the right of the plane. Overall, this model is one of my favourites on the map. Phoenix have done an awesome job. They do cop a lot of criticism by collectors because of just how bad some of their models have been. I've had wings falling off some, wheels breaking instantly upon putting it down on my airport, and so on, but I've had no trouble with this one. It's perfect, the details spot on everywhere. I would definitely recommend it to any collector if they've got a cabinet full of models, if they've even got an airport. It looks really good sitting at your terminals um, and stands, even on the runways we can see now. It's just spectacular. I have always liked the All Blacks livery, so it was a no-brainer getting this one. I purchased it from Cam Ost. I will leave the link to their website in the description below. However, I do believe this model is sold out, but they do still have some Gemini Jets Iceland Air 757-200s in the 1-400 scale. They've got about eight of them left. So if you're wanting that model, uh, drop them an email, and I'm sure they'll be able to send it off to you wherever you are. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all that kind of stuff. The reason why this isn't cinematic is because the response wasn't as good as I'd hoped for, pardon me. Um, this is much easier for me to do as well, and less editing, and it will get pretty repetitive if I'm going to constantly do those cinematics. So every so often I might do that to surprise you. This weekend there will also be another model airport update. It won't be me doing something as in painting. It's actually going to be a scheduled one. So I'm going to read out all the routes for the planes. They're going to be set up with the ground crew and so on. So that should be coming. So look forward to that. And that's about it guys. I think we're almost at 1,400 subscribers. So thank you very much for all the support. We've grown quite a lot in the past two weeks. Almost 100 subscribers. I'm really thank thankful for that. Um, so yeah guys. Thanks for watching as usual. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.